I'm tired of manually approving tasks on Monday.com. There's a solution. It's called approval workflow automation. I will walk you through the step-by-step how to implement the approval workflow on Monday.com so that nothing falls through cracks. So why are we talking about approval workflows today? In the fast-paced world of business, it's critical to have processes in place to ensure that tasks are completed efficiently and accurately. This is where approval workflows come into play. By establishing an approved sequence of steps for completing tasks and obtaining necessary approvals, business can minimize those errors and bottlenecks. But implementing approval workflows not only streamlines the processes, it also provides a clear audit trail, it improves accountability, reduces the risk of compliance issues. Ultimately, the success of your organization depends on its ability to execute tasks in a timely and effective manner, which is why approval workflows are essential for any business. I have witnessed also some other impacts that really scares me when I see that company does not have clear approval workflow. So delays are obvious. But another thing is definitely the communication issues that then becomes trust issues. If there's no approval workflow, if it's not clear the stakeholders involved in the approval, the time also taken to approve, it causes trust issues between employer and employees. You feel like you're bugging your manager or colleague, or sometimes you don't even know who to ask for the approval. So that becomes a really toxic culture issue. And... Finally, we also need to talk about the velocity of how things are happening in your company. Are you happy with the speed? If not, the first thing to look at is usually approval workflows. You might think that the task itself takes too long to take, but it could be that approval itself, it does not have very clear SOPs or automation established. The approval itself has power to actually delay your operations even more than the task itself. So make sure to fix approval workflows sooner rather than later if you want to avoid all these big issues in your company. So how to set up approval workflows on Monday.com? Let's start with the basics and very simple scenario. First thing that you need is a flowchart. It's called a swim lane flowchart. In this specific chart, you would be able to see both the stakeholders involved in the process, the processes and how they relate across all those roles. So let's start with very simple campaigns, approval workflow, where we have the quality controller. You can call it any role that you want. It can be a manager, it can be auditor, it doesn't matter. And we have marketing manager creating campaigns. It starts with campaign strategy and then Marketing manager conceptualizes campaign specifications. Then after this step, marketing manager needs insights from someone at the top to review and finalize those campaign customizations. That's where we have the approval workflow starting point. And then once they are reviewed and finalized by quality controller, we need to make sure that marketing manager applies that feedback on the campaign. Now, as there are no perfect scenarios in real life, because it could be that after applying feedback on the campaign, then marketing manager still needs to ask quality controller about specific details on that feedback, and it can go and cycle several times. What happens then? So we see several things missing. One thing is, what if there are few cycles? Uh, What statuses do we need? Is it just approved, disapproved? What about the assignment of the quality controller himself or herself? What happens if, let's say, we don't want quality controller to be involved in every task of marketing manager? Can we do that? Another question is about the timing. Do we adjust the timing of the item based on the approval workflow or not? And how to fix all these issues? Does quality controller get notification? Once the review is needed, what about the marketing manager? What happens when they apply feedback? What that status means? 
what if revisions are needed? So you see, it looks very simple on this diagram, but all these questions that arise when we're looking at the real life scenarios make us question what specific things we need to address in the automations on monday.com. So the first step is to look at the statuses that you need in your work status or a separate workflow approvals statuses. The way I do it is I simply treat statuses as triggers and finishing points in those processes. And I take this diagram and make sure I always have statuses in the middle of these arrows. Okay. So we see here approval required. This is a trigger when marketing manager needs quality controller to be assigned and start reviewing and finalizing campaign customizations. What they can do is then they can click on the approval required status and that will notify quality controller. If I have that one, I can have an automation. The second one is requires revisions because most likely it will require the revisions. So I add another layer to the requires revisions and it then relates to applying that feedback on the campaign. Sometimes it could happen that after reviewing and finalizing the quality is straight away approved. If not, it goes back to revision completed, then again approval required and most likely then the quality is approved. So as we see after analyzing all these scenarios, we need to add just four statuses for this approval workflow to work and marketing manager and quality controller to have no communication issues when it comes to workflow approval. Now, when we have the statuses, we need five automations. Let's start with the first one. We need to make sure that when approval is required and then that status is, is clicked that we get someone as that quality controller. The automation looks like this. When campaign status changes to approval required, then add a signee someone. In that someone, you have option to choose specific person or just specific team. And then as quality controller, which is a people column on monday.com. So that's the first simple automation that we need. Then I also add a separate automation when quality control is assigned, notify quality controller. So this can be added to the same one, but I always like to separate them just because when we need to edit and it happens more often than you imagine, because processes are continuously improving, they are changing, the priorities are changing too. So I always leave the automation itself with not too many layers on monday.com. The third one is when campaign status changes to requires revisions, notify campaign owner. Let's say quality controller reviewed them and then they click it requires revisions and in the conversation tab, they add the details about those revisions. So the notification goes to the marketing manager, who is the campaign owner that re requires revisions is the new status. The fourth one is when campaign status revisions completed, we set campaign status again as approval required. So you see, we do not add here a secondary, not necessary status. We use the same primary approval required status because it doesn't matter which cycle it is. It goes back to the same idea that approval is required. It doesn't matter if it's initial or is it after revisions are completed and we notify the quality controller again. And once campaign status changes to quality approved, we unassign quality control. I love this feature on Monday.com that you can actually unassign people. It means that there are a lot of people working cross teams and cross departments in your company, and they don't want to see everything on their, on their work statuses on Monday.com feature, which is called my work. The only way to get rid of that unlimited <laughs> workspace is to make sure that you unassign them from that role of the quality controller once the campaign status changes to quality approved. So it means they will not see that specific campaign item on my work. 
I will talk more about it in the future in general project management, but make sure you are aware of unassigned feature on monday.com and use it. So we have been looking just at swim lane charts. Now let's see how all these automations and statuses look like on monday.com board. So the processes that we are trying to achieve is approval workflow between campaign owner and quality controller. We added statuses. Let's look at them. So we have approval required, requires revisions, revisions completed, and quality approved. And we also have five automations that will help us to achieve them. So let's see how it works. Let's imagine I am the campaign owner, okay? And the campaign status at this moment is approval required. I was working on it. Maybe I paused it some time. Maybe I was stuck. Then I was working again. But at this specific moment, I require approval and I want quality controller to be assigned. Let's click and let's see what happens. So in the automation, I chose specific person to be my quality controller. What happens is he is now quality controller in this specific item and he also got notification. If he logs into Monday, he sees that notification, he has access to this board and then he might see that all the details that I added in the brief, in the assets, they require revisions. So he might say specific that let's, let's work on social media in more detail or let's add one more email. So deals do not matter. And then the status becomes requires revisions. Okay. I receive notification about it and I work on them and I say revisions are completed. Okay. So you see what happened. Once I said revisions are completed again, approval is required. So the quality controller understands that approval is required and that's our goal. Now, once he approves everything, he's happy with the quality. He says quality is approved. There's no more work for me to do. Quality is approved. Therefore, we don't need quality controller. So he is unassigned. So this is a very basic setup for the workflow approval automation on monday.com. I have worked with more complex approval automations that included up to five stakeholders that needs to approve separate parts in that item or sub items are also included. So we can talk about those in the future, but I want you to start with at least the basic workflow automation that already solves so many problems and delays in your company.